Hey, what's going on? I'm bringing you another tight shirt. I mean, workout today, and I hope that you enjoy. We're training chest today. Let's start with the bench press. All right, that's step number one. I'm starting with just eight reps. Your first set is really a warm-up set. You just want to get the blood pumping. We're going to wait 60 seconds between uh, our second set. Now, I've got the clock already timed, so 60 seconds rest. Now, with the bench press, the most important thing is when you're doing the exercise, it's always anatomical posture, right? That means your chest is going to be up, shoulders back, and you want to have that ab tight. Bring that core tight. You're going to make sure that when you push out, you don't let your shoulders go forward. People tend to push with their shoulders, and it's really just extending the arms. So my shoulder joint does not move except for the rotation within the joint itself, but it does not move back and forth as you move, as you do the exercise. So make sure that you maintain that position and that posture, coming down, touch, and go. Touch, and go. Now your second set, you're gonna be doing a little bit more weight, but I'm gonna keep the same weight here just to make the video short. So you're gonna do the same weight, or maybe bump it up a little bit, but it should be a little bit more effort involved. All right, let's go on to our second set. Let's do it. I did another eight repetitions. As you can see, I probably could have done 15 or maybe 20. So this weight is really light for me, but I find that when I'm trying to do a heavier weight and trying to talk to you, it becomes very labor intensive. Now, my challenge set is instead of gonna push a little bit harder, you get a chance to see what it's like to really exert, because you want more effort by the time you get to your third set. You're gonna be pushing a little bit harder. All right, so let me change the weight, add a little bit more weight. Let's get on to our challenge set. Come on. All right, that was a challenge set. I kind of acted it out a little bit, pushed through really slowly, but the idea of the challenge set, you should be doing maybe about, about eight to 10 reps. Hitting for, going for 10 reps. This is my third set, going for 10 reps. A couple things you want to make sure that you have support. I added my stands here. Now these are to catch me in case it gets so low that I can't come back up. In the gyms, you don't have these. They don't usually have those in gyms. You usually get people to spot you. But when the weight starts to get heavier, always think safety. Use your spotter stands. Use everything that you can use in order to make it a very safe workout. So that's the way it should look and should feel. As you can tell, I'm pushing a little bit harder. Now you'll do one more set. One more set, that will be four sets, and you'll use maybe the same weight and going for about eight repetitions. Let's go to exercise number two. Well, the same things that we do with the, with the regular bench press, you wanna make sure that your chest is up, anatomical position, you wanna make sure your shoulders are back and stable, so when you push, you're not gonna bring those shoulders forward, you're gonna keep those shoulders locked in place. Another thing you notice is that I don't extend my arms all the way. When you extend your arms all the way, it really is a rest spot sort of for the chest. So if I keep them bent a little bit, I'm keeping tension on that chest right here. I'm keeping that contraction there. So I kind of go up to a certain point, I still feel the contraction, and then I come back so I get a good stretch. This bench is set at about 30 degrees, and the bar comes down to where it almost to would touch my chest. It's not quite that much of a stretch. If I drop it a little bit lower, it'll be too low for me, uh, like this position. That's a little bit too low for me to stretch. So when you're trying to do your workout, don't start so low that you're having a difficult time trying to begin the movement and you can strain it and damage your shoulders. All right, that was uh, set number one. We'll go with set number two.
Good. My elbows are out about 90 degrees. I'm not, I'm not bringing them in too close to my body. They're out about 90 degrees. And I'm just gonna try to maintain my posture the whole time. Make sure you're breathing real, real regularly. Try not to think on too much on breathing in when you're pushing it out. Just try to breathe normally. Don't hold your breath. I'm gonna go on to my challenge set now. The challenge set's gonna be a little bit more. Remember, I'm gonna bump it up a little bit and show you what it's really like. All right, let's start set number three. Challenge! Yes, that was a challenge. As you can see, when you're really exerting, your face gets a little funny, you know? You see that ugly face, but that's what it's about. It's not like trying to be so aware of your surroundings and being calm. You, you gotta really push. You gotta put the effort in. Let's go to our last exercise. This exercise that I know that you've seen in the gym, they call it the butterfly or the pec deck. The idea is that you want to just bring the, the supports together and touch them in front. Now you want to push not with the wrist or not with the forearms, you really want to push with the elbows. Even though the whole arm is resting there, you want to push with the, this part of the, of the body because that's what forces the contraction to happen in the chest. So you're going to be pushing from here from that position, going out, and you're gonna stretch back as far as you can, bringing it back forward. That's what allows that chest to contract. The idea is to get chest contraction. Make sure that your shoulder stays in, the, in a stable position. Don't bring your shoulders forward when you're doing exercises. Always keep your shoulders where they are as far as in one rotational plane. Don't go forward and back as you do the exercise. The other thing is maintain anatomical posture. Make sure that that chest is up the whole time, shoulders are back, and that you're able to, to breathe normally. All right, 60 seconds rest, and then we're gonna start our second set. Now, set number one should have been pretty easy for you. Set number two, I'm gonna bump up a little bit of weight and kind of make it a little bit harder because it should be maybe about to an eight to 10 rep maximum. All right. I'm gonna show you a variation of this exercise also. Some people do it this way with the elbows. Some people do it with their arms straight. It allows them to kind of get a little bit more contraction. So set number two, different hand position. light as you can tell I could have kept going uh, it should have challenged me to do to do about eight to ten reps so if that weight if this was the weight I was doing for my workout I would bump it up and so I get to a, maybe an eight to ten rep maximum effort on the second set third set challenge set here's where you really put it on you add as much weight as you can and you're going for eight to ten maximum again but this one is an all-out effort no more playing around challenge all right let's go to set number three wait I got a little bit more time Gotta get my water. Always drink plenty of water when you work out. Plenty of water. Challenge. Hoo, hoo. You know, you always gotta get psyched up for your challenge set. Crap. than I look. When I watch a person do that challenge set, I can tell if the weight is too light. If, they're, if their face is relaxed, it's too light. When you're really doing a challenge set, you're really having to dig in. It's like going into your core and push for that set. You know, it's the effort that you put in that's gonna determine, determine the result that you get from it. So make sure that your challenge set is not too light because we minimize our belief that we can train heavier. So you gotta push the muscle, gotta work hard on those challenge sets. 
So I should have added more weight for my challenge set. So that's the workout for chest. We start off with the bench press, the old standby. I love the bench press. You do maybe four sets of the bench press, starting with maybe your first two being lighter, your third set being your challenge set, and your last set where you really are exerting. That's your growth set. That's the one that keeps pushing you over the edge. Your second exercise was the incline bench press. We're at an incline, remember? We're coming back here, pushing that from an incline position. And we're doing four sets there. And the last set was the pec deck or a butterfly. We're doing four sets. So 12 sets total. You can do this, all right? Get that chest working. I'll see you next time. I'm out.